Hello, welcome to the Quirks Cast, episode one. I'm here joined by my co-host, Shaq Tinafu, a.k.a. Brady. Hey. Couscous, a.k.a. Aiden. Hey. And Brian, a.k.a. Agent Beaner, really racist Hola. name, but welcome what to episode fuck? one. How's everybody doing? Welcome. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? So yeah. Trump got a peach, I'm, I'm huh? Doing good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something about sending Trump into a peach? <laughs> Yeah, Damn. yeah, well, yeah. What's well, about peaches and Trump? I don't. People are saying the Senate's not going to allow it, though. I mean, well, yeah, because right? the Senate's full of Republicans, so they're going to deny it. Why would they I mean, allow this to happen? Our economy's doing pretty well, but I don't really fuck with peaches, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh, uh, well. I gotta go. I, I... <laughs> I gotta get off. See you guys. <laughs> oh <laughs> going my to god. Anyways, yeah, so we gained a couple subscribers since we posted the first video. Oh, By the yeah, way, if you haven't seen that, link in the description. Go check guys. it out. Eight subscribers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Face kiss, yeah. We surpassed yeah. extra 33. We're doing pretty well. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. Who's extra? I don't even know who that is. Not me, that's for sure. Drop oh. a like if you know who extra is. Go in the comments below. Tell me who it is. I'll be waiting on you guys. See you soon. All right, anyways, so funny topics, right? Okay, anybody? Anybody got some funny topics, some some gamer like topics? Clubhouse? Oh, how about we talk about how uh, uh, Brady's mom gave him a blowjob? Can we fun? literally not talk about my mom? My mom Yo, chill. What? Oh, my God. Anyways. No. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can talk about the Cloud Alice. I mean, that's a doable topic. I mean, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So when's it gonna happen? When are the vlogs gonna come out? I'm waiting. All right. So everybody's all right, waiting. So I have all the information on the cloud house. So mm -hmm. all right. So what's happened is I've been talking to this dude for the past few days. Uh, I've got approved to be able to like, like he's like, yeah, sure, you can like move in if you want. The only thing is, he speaks like broken English, and I'm not able to meet up with him in person. What oh. is his name, Vladimir? No, it's like, it's literally Johnson. It's a last name. His last <laughs> name. <laughs> His, name. His name's Johnson. Ah, oh my God. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I guess basically what we're talking about here is that the cloud house could be a possible thing soon. Um, minus Brady. So are you like actively like, trying to make it happen? Uh, I'm talking just to the guy. I've bang. agreed on a day to send in the security deposit, but it's like right. a week and a half from now. Wait, what? You're lying. What? Why what? haven't we been told any serious? of this? Well, because it literally happened like an hour ago. <laughs> what the hell, Aiden? He, he, he's lying. What the no. fuck, Aiden? The cap is non-existent. Oh. I've agreed on a day to put in a security Why are they reacting like this is a bad thing? I mean, it's not. Like, I'm ready to yeah, go. Yeah, but like, it's just that... I, I, I like handling a lot of like, the business stuff like on my own. Like, I okay, so, like so, so you can handle rent on your own too then, right? Well, no. I'm paying rent with you guys. Come well, on now. Don't flick uh, out. Well, anyway. mine is Christian since me and Aiden will have since, the most money. Since what? Since what? <laughs> Excuse me. I have a job, okay? Wait, Donate do? to my uh, Patreon. Uh, yeah, he uh, does. Uh, <laughs> Donate to he my Patreon. He delivers groceries. He delivers groceries. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. How much are you getting an hour? Two? Like 17. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's like, like a seventh of what I make. Yeah, cool. Uh, good uh, for yeah, you. you Big rich. flex. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> God, I, I'm sorry. I can't focus on, like, talking correctly because I just hear Brian deep-throating his microphone every time he speaks. Is the internship, like, the only reason you can afford the house? Or is it just helping? No, I, I could oh, probably. It's helping a decent amount. But uh, it's making money a lot less stressful. Well, let's talk yeah, about uh, that. Let's let's talk about what you're doing for your internship. I'm sure our viewers shit. would like to know. No, bet. I mean, it's a lot of ASP.NET development shit, if you know oh, what that hey, is. Can you put that into English, please? All right, so essentially... Uh, there's there, there's this company, and they do a lot of like HVAC shit. It's it's like they do a lot of like uh like like implementing like air conditioning, and like and, like heaters and all that shit for like businesses. Yeah. So, uh, I work inside of their database. Okay. So it sounds like a pretty decent job. Yeah. Well, you didn't have to expose yeah, them like we, that. Yeah, but we, yeah, like... we don't gotta talk about the money of it. Anyways, money aspects like, aside, that, I want to keep that under wraps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, too late now. Sorry. Oh, you can just bleep it out and post because I mean it's recorded. Uh, I'm gonna be the one that's editing this. You're the one who's recording it. Well, okay. 
No, I'm just playing around. <laughs> <Wait, was> there... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a legitimate concern. <laughs> I was so like. Anyways, I, I have another. I have another interesting topic oh. I want to ask you guys about. I want your guys' oh opinions on the Cybertruck. Cyber Thoughts. Truck? Brady, well, let me you look say, at it. You say Cybertruck like you don't know what it is. Oh, you talking That's about the Tesla Cybertruck? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What are your opinions? I, I, what are your uh, thoughts on this vehicle? The low, the low poly Warthog. Yeah. I don't know way. anything about it except it literally just looks stupid. There's Honestly, no way to the, put it. Brady, if, the word, if the Warthog looks like this, you could probably run, you could probably run Halo Reach. I could run Halo Reach right now, just not comfortably. I can count the polygons. I just. I don't know. I haven't watched any videos on it. I just saw it and I opted out of looking into it at all. Cause it, I don't well, even. Think I already. Truck. I put down my three hundred fifty dollar deposit so I can get one. I just don't think there's a world in which that car looks good. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> it, it's Elon Lego. Musk. It's the future, bro. It's it's Elon Musk. I mean, what do you what do you expect? It's if it's, this it's is the be... future, I'm committing tomorrow. Well. Besides yes. that, I mean, I would prefer older cars over newer cars in general. Yeah, I, mean, I just think classic cars Honestly, are a lot cooler if looking. Took, if somebody took a, uh, if somebody took a 1996 Mazda RX-7 and made it completely like, actually like compatible to be able to be driven legitimately. Yeah. Because rotary engines are absolute hell to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody made it like an actual like engine instead of some rotary bullshit, I would cop one of those in a heartbeat. But the problem you know, is with uh with an engine swapped RX-7 is they're like a lot more expensive mm -hmm. what car do you even have right now i've got a 2003 nissan Sentra. oh hell yeah, yeah. hey it's i mean we're, we're, we're just starting out things are big things are coming yeah. okay yeah. big yeah. big things on the way you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I pre-ordered my mclaren through amazon, amazon prime too, so. So. <laughs> <laughs> but i wanted to also talk about um the like i driving on the other side of the road or like what about when, when you're in a car and you know, for us here in America, we drive on the left side, like like the driver's side's on the left side, I mean, and in some countries, the driver's side's on the right. Like, I don't understand how people drive like that. I don't think I could ever do it. I feel like it would just be so weird. You they know? probably feel the exact same way. About That's true, yeah. Drive. Just on the right yeah. side. How the fuck yeah. do you guys do that? Yeah, yeah. the problem is they're on the, uh, we're on the right side. Yeah. They're on the left side of the road. No, no, no. We're on the right side. They're on the wrong side. Yeah. So. Yeah, so technically yeah. We're, we're better. I mean, it's America. What do you expect? Yeah. We're better like than everybody else. If they drove like that in America, they'd get pulled over in a heartbeat. Like, let me just tell you. <laughs> I mean, I, I drive like that late at night when no one else is on the road. Like, hey, I pay my taxes. Why can't I use the whole road? Exactly. Yeah, like, I've driven down the road. Like, I pay for both sides of the road. Like, why can't <laughs> I? <laughs> Precisely. Like, if you, I mean, if you see a car doing that, it's it's probably Exter. Right, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's probably, like, uh, probably Kisher. It's probably, it's probably Kish. Kish. I like oh Face Kish. God. Yeah. I'm joining FaZe, by the way, guys. Yeah. Uh, I spoke to FaZe Rug. We don't Twitter know for what game yet. Suck. They just want them. And, uh, yeah, they, they really want me to be on FaZe. I think they're putting me in charge of starting their Minecraft uh, pro team. And oh, I already yeah. got a couple SG recruits. Yeah, I got a couple recruits in mind. Uh, probably this guy named Coos and then this other guy named Shaq. Um, I would, I would bring this, I, I wouldn't, I would, I would, yeah, I would invite this Beaner guy, this agent Beaner guy, but he, he just kind of sucks, you know, he, you know, I saw some UHC yeah. gameplay of his, and he didn't even get in chance, and he was full diamond, Yeesh. and he Damn. just you know. he, he didn't craft a sword until after PVP. Like, what's he doing? <laughs> Damn. No, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, I am being signed to Phase. Um, moving out to LA in a couple of weeks. Um, looking forward to it. Well, it's gonna shit, be fun. well, we're at the Cloud House. Wish I had known that before. I spent like three and a half grand on security deposit for this house. <laughs> right. I love how earlier you're like, yeah, I don't want to talk about money. And then you just drop the price of how much you put into the house. <laughs> I haven't put any money into the house yet. None no. at all. Well, I seriously think it, like if, you know, when we live together, it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be a lot of yep. fun stuff think, for, the, yeah. for the content. It's going to be yeah. great. It's gonna be interesting. Brady's think, not going to be there because Brady lives on the other side of the country. finances and logistics off camera because it's going to get a little bit heated because I have some strong yeah. opinions. What about Ryan? Ryan's very easygoing. So Brian, Brian instantly just conformed to what I had to say. But Kisher, you and I both have alpha personalities. This is true on that front. This, this is, is very true. true. It would depend on the topic, though. So it will depend on the topic. I've already got dibs on the master, but that's because I'm paying more rent than all of you. Yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have to I'm, we'll have to talk about I'm paying, this for no, sure. I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying a higher percentage of the rent. We'll, I don't we'll have, think we'll anybody could argue that point. Like realistically i can't tell if you're like trying to be funny but like if he is paying a good chunk of the rent 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm paying over half. Yeah. I'm gonna pay over a third. I'm gonna pay more than a third of the rent. That, like, that's pay, fair. Like, that's fair. That that is fair. However, there is gonna be two other people living there that are also paying for things. So that's yeah, not that. necessarily that fair to be taking full advantage of something like that how, when like other people are paying for it. How big is the? I mean, what are the other rooms? Like, oh, I don't know. I just I just want a master bedroom. That's all. I've yet to even look at the house. I I haven't even yeah, looked exactly it up either. yet. Well, I sent the address in a group chat, but we'll, be we'll, like a we'll talk check. about all that later. Yeah. I mean, it's okay to talk about on stream. We don't have to talk about, like, the, you know, how we want to do things, but we can like talk about the house numbers. itself. Like, yeah. So, hold yeah. so are you, up. like, are you less inclined to talk about it on stream, like, on, like, live at all because of personal reasons? Or I, because... No, I, I think like... it's just solely because it's personal. Like, it's, it's between, you know, us three as in yeah. as far as, like, money goes, mm -hmm. who's paying for what. It's kind of stuff that we want to keep under wraps. I think we can talk about, you know, how the house would be set up, like, what we'd have in there, and, like, what, what our about? plans are, but I don't think that we'd have to, okay. you know, plan. I don't think we have to talk about numbers. it exactly. Like we don't have to talk about the financial things, you know, in front of everybody as well. Yeah, but, thanks. yeah. I mean, I think I think it'd be a lot of fun. I mean, I I really personally I had a lot of fun the night that Brian and Aiden came to my house and we did that ten hour stream. I think that was super fun. That was hella fun. I mean, that, oh, that yeah, gave the us. Yeah, one where you lost the penises everywhere around the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually a lot of fun. Like, I, genuinely, I thought it was really cool. And that gave us kind of a short glimpse into what it would be like actually living in a house together. I mean, because you guys, I would assume you guys don't, like, con or consistently bicker, do you? No, not necessarily. I mean, me and Aiden get in arguments we have, we a couple spouse, times. But I think because, that's just mostly because we both have the alpha personality. Yeah, it's because we act the same. It was so funny. I was literally talking to my mom about this the other day. I was like, you know, Aiden, you know, we have our ups and downs, but through all of it we're still really good friends and i think it's you know the main reason we have our ups and downs is because we're the same person like we're both super competitive we don't like to lose we like to be the best at what we're doing and we're both not going to admit if we're bad at something unless oh, yeah. we like <laughs> really feel like you know it's time to admit it like you know that's just how it is man and there's people here, like that in this world know, i'll so. send here brian i'm gonna send you guys both photos of this is the I've zillow listing it. It's the Zillow listing of the house. Oh, it's yeah, Zillow. It's okay. Well, then it can't be too sketchy if it's Zillow. I thought it was yeah. something on Craigslist. Oh no, no, I got it off. Of, I got the link for all the shit off of Craigslist, but this. Is, okay, uh, but it's it's on Zillow though. Yeah. Oh I'm wow, that's a nice here. looking house. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, we can. That's pretty nice. Oh wow, yeah, hardwood okay, yeah, floors. This, this one's saying this one's saying it's thirteen fifty a month though. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, it looks like it was redone on the inside as well. Okay, but we can yeah, talk well, about this off or off the podcast because I'm sure our viewers, yeah. unless they see this, then they don't, you know, really care too much about it. But yeah, yeah, we're not gonna show them the house before we people move in. Exactly, because that, that's just like practically doxing. Hey, Quirk's house tour when we move in, you know, we'll just show them the inside. I don't know about the outside because I'm not trying to get doxed, but you There's know, no point in doing the outside. Like, okay, here's how our walls look. Here's how our garage door <laughs> so looks. Here's our edges. All right, yeah, so like here's it. our grass. It's about two inches tall. Pretty standard. It's literally a grass. Yeah, this is our grass right here. This is our, you know, little driveway. We have our yeah. cars here with yeah, the license right. numbers. We all have 2003s because we're poor. Here's my social security number. Oh my, here's my credit card. Here's my social, you guys. Mm -hmm. Man, wow. I, I think... All right, I, uh, what, what's the next topic? Uh, we've we done over New year, all three of the things. New, New no, Year's we've only gone over two of the things. New Year's We've only gone over two of the things. Okay, we'll go over that next. Uh, there's no wrong way to jerk off. Oh, that's right. What? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, um, I, I no. <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, Brady, <laughs> Brady was oh, in the middle God. of uh, it's, Brady. It's, 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 uh, let me, let me explain the context because yeah. I kind of. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I need you to do me a favor before you go on. Define. Do you mean literally like the motion of jacking off or the uh, the idea of masturbation? Just in general. Like, are just you in general. There's no just wrong way to motion. masturbate. I think the, the uh, oh, oh. Like jacking off and stuff. Like literally your hand on your wiener. Like there's yeah. no wrong way to do it. Okay, okay. You I thought really you made masturbation wrong. as a whole because there are very wrong ways you can go about oh, doing yes. it. Yes, hundred percent. All right, go ahead, yeah. go ahead. You're all good. All You're right, in the clear. All right, all right, so while you were while you were off doing whatever the fuck, uh, I made a joke. I was like, he's probably like having he's probably like fucking a family member or some shit, you know, because I'm just trying to be funny. We're talking and about pornos. Christian, and then Christian said, That sounds like the start to a porno. And then and then he also said it's like damn son are you having trouble jacking off i was like let me help you <laughs> like you know like a wrong. porno because yeah, like exactly. the mom walks like, in they're, they're, they're like well that doesn't look like, like you're doing that right you need that, help yeah <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't look like you're doing this shit right 
Exactly. I mean, any guy that has watched porno, they know it's a thing. Like, they we're not exactly stupid. I mean, come on. I, I, I feel like everybody. at this point, the writers, they intentionally make it bad. Like, they know it's bad. <laughs> Terrible it's know it's I don't think there's a, such a, I don't think there's such a thing as a good porno. I, I think they're you, all I will just... say this. I, let me say this. For how taboo of a topic incest is, incest porn is dummy popular. Well, yeah, oh, because, no, dude, no, no. It's there's literally a everywhere. plethora. There's a yeah. plethora of things it's that just, are so it's bad, just the most. but it's just it, the most. No, it's, it's just the fact impossible. that when you're, when a man, when when a man or a woman for that matter is horny, like you, mm-hmm. it's it's like you're in a different mindset. <laughs> we like, become monsters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like you just when you're when you're horny, it's a thing, you know. You're just yeah. like, oh wow. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm I. I don't know how I feel about incest. That's kind of a little much yeah, for me. No, uh, but no, yeah, no. like you know, this Sorry. is West Virginia. You know, I'm, it's I'm sketch. Really as <laughs> it's sketch as fuck. Like, yeah, no. it's a little weird. You know, but I think we should be a I little just, careful where we walk around. Uh, I can't imagine form. ever getting horny enough to a point where I thought I was ever gonna touch a family member. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I no. literally could. That's fucking disgusting. You know, disgusting. the unfortunate thing I is can't. that there's there's people in this world that have gotten to that point, and it's kind of it's kind of scary. That point is point break, <laughs> and I gross. never want to hit point break because it's over if I do. I, it's, I wouldn't yeah, live with myself if I knew at, I did something. At that with point, you just family. become. Did you the, guys? Uh, you're no longer a degenerate him. asshole. Period. Were you guys? Uh, were you guys successful in uh, No Not November? Dude, I have no, a girlfriend. I, I literally. Yeah. Uh, I failed at eleven fifty nine. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. All right. I don't think I like. Last year, I made it to, like, 12 or 13. Wow. Like, like, like November, good. like, 12th or 13th. And there was I a... I literally just... I, I get hit I get hit with the animalistic just urge. Yeah. And I was just like, uh-uh. Like, there was a guy... Happen. There was a guy at my school who had gone the whole November without masturbating. And then once December came around, he tried to see how many... He basically did it as many times as that day was. So like on the first he did uh, it once, yeah. on the second he yes, did it on the second. The of December. Yeah, that's what it is. I couldn't remember what it was called, but he actually did that. I think he made it all the way up to like December twelfth or something. I was like, on wow. some on some no homo sh- like no homo, that yeah. cum shot on the first must have been like fucking magnificent. That is the worst thing about <laughs> guys, dude. Yeah. If you don't it do it for a up. while, it, it builds it, up and it's dude, an eruption, <laughs> bro. It hits you in the forehead. <laughs> like, am I... It hits me in the forehead after a day. What the oh fuck my am I hearing? <laughs> what is this? Uh, no. What are you hearing? You're hearing four guys talk <laughs> about masturbation. No. You, you two are talking about it. No. Bring me out of this. Bring me out of this. No. I don't know why. I don't know why you're getting so defensive, Brian. It's a regular thing. Getting so defensive. It's it's a thing, dude. It's a thing, I know guys. It's a thing, but- like guys talk right, about this right, stuff, right, man. Right. Like what? I'm listening. I'm listening. Go on. God, Brian. <laughs> I'm just looking. I, I love it. I love how Brian's like, no, stop talking. Brady's just completely silent. Yeah, Brady's just <laughs> silent. Brady, are you still? <laughs> just testing it out. <laughs> okay, he's still with us. He's he's still here. He's he's still here. Just making sure. God, I mean, it's a regular, it's a normal topic. I think that it's, you know, I don't. Totally default. If you go on, like, fair. If, you go on, if you go on any other podcast with a group full of it's guys, it's just unexpected. That's masturbation all. At least gets one brought episode up. Episode was about masturbation. At facts, point. facts. Yeah. It's a normal. Every thing. single podcast. Yeah, if not every single, not podcast, every single episode. episode. Ooh, ooh, Everybody hey, covers hey. It at some point. Another thing we could talk about as well. Uh, mm-hmm. TwitchCon, TwitchCon 2020. Uh-huh. The, boys, uh-huh. the boys, the boys. When is that happening? Like uh, gee, I don't know. Year. 2020, okay. Brian. Uh, what month? <laughs> September. <laughs> okay. That's all Anyways, I need to know. The, the boys, the quirks, I think we're, we're, we're going to try and go to TwitchCon. I don't know if Brady's coming or not, but I know that me, Brian, and Aiden are going to be trying to. I looked at a plane ticket when I was doing a call with Aiden, and it yeah. looks like it's pretty, like, relatively cheap. Like, if I saved up for a round here, trip, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's literally no way in hell I could save up from here until then because I got shit I gotta buy. 
Yeah. But That's like, fair. if I saved up reasonably, like as long as I don't blow all my paychecks between now and then, I'll be more than good by the time it comes. The only thing is, if we're doing fucking Uber everywhere, who is paying for that? Because that's going to run everybody. That's drive. what I want to know. Yeah, that's, yeah, good. that's well, we, Aiden, Aiden brought up a good point, too. He said if we got a place near the convention center that we could easily walk or just take yeah, bikes, you know. Because it's, like, it's not like San Diego is like a, a fucking yeah. farmland. Yeah, you can yeah. easily just walk to most of your destinations. Like, you no and I also walking. think, I also think the other big chunk of change is going to be where we stay. Like, that's that's you know, people yeah. charge a lot of money. But if we found like an Airbnb I, or even like a hotel or something, you know, I feel like Airbnbs it's around that time are going to be expensive though. Yeah, Airbnbs. Well, I mean, if you book it, if you book in advance though, if you book in advance though, it's not going to oh, be yeah, too bad. Sure. I mean, easy, what I'm saying though is like, I easily think it's doable. For everybody to go to oh, TwitchCon. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you you have plenty of time from you know this month, which is December, all the way to next September to save that money, like I think it's yeah. pretty doable. And the I think when I looked at flights, still isn't really a problem. It just what adds it, up. Yeah. What did I say the flight cost was, uh, Brian or Aiden? Because I remember I sent it to you guys. It was like I think it, was around, it was around three. No, it was around three hundred. Yeah, and that was that was like for round trip, I believe. Yeah. And How many days? Three, I, it might have been three. It was it was like for four days, I think, three or four, four days. days. Yeah, yes, and it was like it was like one flight, one f- yeah, it was one flight from where we are, and then there was a layover in Atlanta, and then from Atlanta it was just a direct flight to San Diego, and it was actually I'll pretty be well priced. Twenty at that point. So a convention yeah. flight, damn. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Be in my fucking senior year at that point. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. For for those of you who don't know, I feel like I feel like uh not too many people know this in the community, outside yeah. of my community, but I've literally known Brady since I was like in going into high school like i've yeah. known this and i'm like a sophomore in college now this is factual this is i've known yeah. Yeah. i've known school. brady for about a year i've known brian and aiden i met brian and aiden around the same time which was what like two years ago three about years a little bit over two years ago yeah. like yeah, september 2017 i i remember we can talk about this too this is also another good topic i remember the first time meeting aiden was uh we went to this place called the tech center Basically, a specialty yeah. center for people that had interests in like computers or auto body or plumbing or HVAC, and you you know yeah. you basically had to apply to it. And if you got in, you know you got in. But I ended yeah. up getting into a computer program, uh, which you know doesn't really matter too much. But that is essentially how I met Aiden because Aiden was in another program. You know, I was similar. in the second year. I was in the second year of yeah. like the program that like ran that like ran alongside it. Yeah, which was Cisco networking. And then I was in computing because I don't, I'm not really a fan of networking, but I remember they would always, they would merge the classes quite a bit and, you know, just to kind of get everybody to gel together and meet each other. And so Aiden used to kind of come in every morning and the funny story, I actually, Aiden annoyed the crap out of me (laughs) when I like first, you know, I didn't really talk to him yet. I was kind of being judgy (laughs) just by the way he was. I was like, yeah, it's kind of annoying. And then we started talking. I think we started talking about Minecraft or something. And then we just kind of hit it off from there. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of funny how things work out, but same thing with Brian. I was pretty, pretty quiet. Didn't really say anything to Brian. And I think we started talking about him building his first rig. Mm-hmm. And then that's when we started playing. I bought Brian Minecraft a couple, couple years ago. And now Brian plays Minecraft with me. So pretty, pretty Speaking pog. Speaking of mm-hmm. meeting people, literally we would not, this right now would not be happening if me and Aiden did not play that same UAC. Okay, it's okay, you wouldn't be here. Like, Kisher and Brian be. and I might be here still, but you, would, met, you would yeah, definitely would be. Quirks would not be a thing, at least with Shaq in a fool. All because I, I arbitrarily never... decided I was going to play one UHC. Hey, on well, to be fair, the Quirks has been a long time coming. I mean, we've been yeah. playing games and doing stuff together since, like, we've what, been a year this. ago? We've been teasing this, Yeah. now that we've just gone full send with it. Yeah. I mean, it, it practically happened like this. I was lying in bed. I was watching uh, a show on Netflix, and then I just heard my phone get pinged like 8 million times. And I looked. Sure enough, Shaktina Fu and Couscous were blowing up my phone saying, get on. Let's record the podcast. Let's go. And then Brian got on, and here we are. We're now we're now in our Discord and uh, recording the, the podcast. So, yeah, episode one, pretty lit. You know? Any, any, any comments, or is it just going to be dead silence? No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just how it rolls. You know, it's fun. I've I've wanted to do a podcast for a long time now, just because I I'm one of the people that can sit and speak about something for a long time. A podcast is so easy if you have more than one person to do it. Absolutely. With. Like three oh, yeah. and <laughs> Imagine being on a podcast by yourself. You're just like, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, uh, how's uh, how's the weather? Oh, it's uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to the Kisher podcast uh, where I'm alone by myself and I have no friends or family. (laughs) Like, that would suck. That's pretty much it. That would suck so bad. I would hate that. 
Like that that would really be bad. I yo, I um I was actually debating drinking a Red Bull before we recorded this because I thought I'd need the energy, but I drank one earlier Red today, beer. so I was like, it's probably not a good idea to do all that. What yeah. what's your guys' plans for um Christmas and New Year's? Like not getting too. I, work, I mean, in general, like Vegas. I work in New Year's. Question. I'm just gonna be hanging out with family mostly for uh for New Year's. All right now for uh, Christmas. Sorry. Yeah, I'll be basically working and hanging out with family. Yeah. And, well, to be fair, Brian's gonna be making fat money because he works oh, for yeah. Amazon and they they pay hella high money over the holidays, so he's gonna be making Facts. stacks. Like honestly, Brian, if you were to grind out right now and like work a lot while you get paid this much, you could easily have rent paid off for a couple months. Does he get to decide his own? That's doable. Yeah. Huh? Oh shit! What? Man, I, w I wish I got to decide my own hours like that. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I yeah. I'm debating if I should go tomorrow. I don't know. I, it's up to you. I mean, I I think it's really cool that Brian works. Definitely Amazon. going Friday. Just yeah. don't know about tomorrow. Yeah, I so me personally, I know New Year's I'll be uh I'll be hanging out with family as well. Probably gonna have the girlfriend come over, um and then Christmas same thing. Gonna be doing Christmas with my parents, well yeah. my mom and my sister and stuff, and then I'm gonna be driving up to my dad's to go do Christmas with him. Hashtag yeah. divorced parents. Hashtag double the gifts. Amazing. Relatable. Hell yeah, brother. Oh. <laughs> uh, people always people like people, <laughs> people always look at that as a bad thing. But it's like, you know, obviously, yeah, it sucks. It's actually it's a good thing. It sucks it's that your family gets torn apart at a, yeah, at a that is true. you know, young age. But then again, I get the more thing, Christmas gifts, so. Factual. The thing is, you just kind of got to realize that it's like. Who gives a shit? It's it's just a thing. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember it's, it's, my parents being like, divorced. I, I think a lot of old. people try to view it in much. Uh, people try to, like, make it out way worse than it is. Yeah, then, like, way. If yeah, they if make it way worse than what it actually is. Just break off. They don't hate each other's guts. Like, they're not, like, treating each other like shit. And they're like, no, you can't go see them. As yeah. long as they're working together, they can still be separate and shit will go fine. Yeah. Like, it, it, you will still be a There's good no reason kid. that you can't be split up and still be amicable to each other. Exactly. You know? Basically. Exactly, dude. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's just how it be. Like, I wouldn't wish a divorce on anybody. It's It sucks. No. It's, it's really tough to go through, especially if you're a kid in the family. Like, I've seen a lot of things... Uh, and I've been scarred. No, no. <laughs> just go down. I just go down a giant rabbit hole of like my life situation. Just how much it's terrible. No, I'm, just, I, I'm actually very fortunate. I, I I love my life very much. So you know, I'm just yeah. saying. I, I wouldn't wish a divorce on anybody. It's not something you want to go through. You know, long story short. But eh, things happen. People think that they're right for each other, and they're not. You know, like me and Aiden, we broke up last night. You know, we just decided it wasn't wasn't meant it's to be. It's still pretty raw. Yeah, I mean it. My my video on it didn't get like you know millions of views like David Dobrik and Liza's, but you know it's fine. Guess we're, guess we're less Christian, relevant. Have you, Christian, have you ever been broken up with? Um, yeah, yeah, I have one time. Yeah, have you yeah. ever experienced heartbreak? Mm, yeah, I safely can say I don't think I have. I, I have. don't think I've ever had, especially not a. I think the only time I experienced heartbreak was when I was like six and my grandpa died. That was like yeah, it. I, I, mine's kind of similar. The two I've had probably two times, uh, three times. Uh, one was when a girl broke up with me. One was actually recently, a couple months ago, when me and my current girlfriend were going through a hard patch, and we ended up yeah. cutting it off just because you know for the time being we needed to take a break. That really hurt. And then yeah. the thing that hurt the most, I love my girlfriend so much, but I'm sorry, this hurt more than us breaking up, was losing my dog, uh, Chance, because he. Literally had that dog since I was born. Like, since I came yeah. out the room, he was by my side. And then uh, he ended up going in his sleep, he, which is good, though. He went peacefully. But yeah, losing peaceful. him yeah. was, like, the hardest thing. Like, I cried for days, man. I still cry even thinking about it or talking about it. Because that yeah. dog was, like, my soulmate, man. Losing him sucked. But, hey, he's in a better place now. So, I just Thanks. know he's not in pain. I actually have a couple funny stories I could tell and share with you guys if you want to hear anything about him. But, you know, I'll Eventually. let you guys decide. But um, yeah, that was pretty bad. What about you, Brian? Huh? Like, have you have ever you experienced heartbreak? heartbreak? Mm. Let's narrow no, it down. Let's say really. relationship wise. Yeah. Like, no, have you experienced no. heartbreak? No, How about no. you, Aiden? Yeah. Yep. Okay. How long ago? hundred percent. Uh, Explain. like, like two months ago. Damn. Mm. Jesus. Oh, Christ. was it with that? Yeah, it was with it was with that girl. Oh, can, that you, girl, damn. can you elaborate or is it too personal? 
Uh, I games... mean, you don't have to get into the nitty gritty of it. Yeah. You can just kind of give us the lay of the land. Essentially, 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 I was talking to this girl, and from the like within a week that I knew her, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, like she's actually everything that I want in a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. and like in a person, like within a week of knowing her. Yeah. Oh, is and... this the same girl that you told me um months ago? Yeah. Yeah, it was the girl I went to like Kings Dominion oh, with like, all the time. Uh-huh, I first started uh-huh. Like oh, within okay. a, like within like a month, I was just I couldn't stop thinking about her. Yeah. And it was just like it was you, like So for for us guys, you know, I think everyone in here has been in some sort of relationship or at least had a crush yeah. on somebody. Do you yeah. guys believe in what's called the honeymoon phase? Or do you guys think that that's false? Uh, I explained that. I have no idea what you the, mean. Okay, yeah, so that essentially the honeymoon really phase is when you, you start dating somebody and you can't be away from them for like a long period of time. Like you absolutely just want to be with them every single second that, that you get the yeah, chance yeah. to. That, that uh, happens. Yeah. That's like it's called the honeymoon phase. And yeah. it's you I, want I, to I be that. with them every living moment of your life. And then after a couple months, you're just kind of, it kind of wears off. And you're just kind of, you know, obviously you still love them, still want to be with yeah, them, still, but just not like, as it's, much. It's, yeah, as the first like few, you, like respect each other's space. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That literally just happened. That's how that that happens in relationships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how yeah, they happened start with this girl out. I was talking to like a month ago with me. Yeah, it's a it's a normal yeah. thing. I mean, I I think, I think like if like I don't know, I would be fucking devastated. I put so much time into the relationship I'm in right now. Like yeah. I probably spent. Uh, it's. I know Aiden recently, there's been a few times where I had to tell, tell you I couldn't do shit because I was on the phone with her. Yeah. I've probably spent more time on the phone with her than I have talking to, like, any of my friends in the past two years combined. Yeah, like, honeymoon I, phase. I have... Mm. I have well, it's been two years. It's also, oh, okay, yeah, okay. It's also because yeah. she's not, like... It, it, it's not like a, I don't want to be in the phone with her, right? It's yeah. just when I'm not doing anything else, I'm on the phone with her. I'm literally constantly talking to her. Even if we're not fucking talking, yeah. I'm just around her somehow. Whether yeah, she's yeah, at my know, house. Like, it's I've comforting. Been, I've been, it's comforting. I've been, yeah, exactly. I've been in, like, Discord calls with Brady's girl. Like, that's it's, yeah. That's how it is like, for me and my girlfriend. I mean, like, I'll FaceTime her, and we won't, we won't say anything. Like, we'll obviously talk for a little bit, but I'll yeah. fall asleep with her on the phone. Just knowing she's yeah, on exactly. the phone, that, it's that's, comforting. That's what we do all the time because that's how yeah. she is. I'm fine with that. Originally... Yeah. Um, it, it was rough when we first started. If she was, I can't lie, we were both kind of weird when she, cause she broke me out my fucking comfort zone hard. Yeah. I think yeah. she was, she wasn't the first girl I ever kissed, but she was the first girl I ever made out with. Yeah. Cause she was like aggressively trying to get me out of my comfort zone. Hey, well, to because, be fair, to be fair, that, you know, I don't want to jinx anything, you know, knock on wood, but I, you know, if you guys have been together that long, chances are that you guys could be together for a very long time and possibly even oh, get married. Yeah, like I, for two year in like two months now. Yeah, that's the same with me and my girlfriend. Yeah. I met her my my uh I believe it was soft no no junior year. I met her and I've been with her mm-hmm. since. So it's been quite some time that we've been together and I do see quite a quite a bit of a future with her. So, you know, I think it's that's possible. Good. But she's broken me. I understand where you're coming from, Brady. She's broken me at a lot of stuff in my life as well. I you think know? the lowest point no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna get too personal with it, obviously, because yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna expose her like that. But it was like where there was this phase where it felt like everything I did face was case. wrong. Sorry. Yeah, face case. Um, <laughs> like I could, I could do the most simplest shit, something I could not like see anything, like anything wrong with it, and then I would do it, and there would be some kind of consequence for it. Like I would upset her somehow. Yeah. And that that fuck it. That only it only went on for a week. But like I was like I felt horrible because I I felt like I couldn't do anything right like everything I did I would I would yeah. either be spending too much time with my friends, or I would wouldn't be talking to her. No, it was always something little. And then finally, like it was it was because like uh it was a death in the family for her, so she was really stressed. Mm. So it was just a bad time for her. But I originally I won't lie I, I up until her I was off for relationships. I um I would talk I would like I was really nervous i guess like i had yeah. a, i was all talk no game yeah. like i would t- i would hype myself the fuck up but if i like luckily it never <laughs> i never embarrassed myself like i never even got close to doing anything like sexual with a girl before her but if i had it would have been fucking horrible because i would have yeah. fucking broken down hey, i would have had no idea first time for on. everything first yeah. time for everything you know and with her it just happened naturally i was scared as shit when i lost my virginity like i the, I, I wasn't was, I, like scared i was just worried i was somehow gonna like mess it up myself. yep yep exactly like that, that that's how it was like, everything went fine. 
That's how it was for me. It's same, exactly the same. And I, I can relate to that relationship stuff as well because like my girlfriend currently like she's gotten me to change it for the better like yeah. you know usually if i get in an argument with somebody i'll typically just not want to do it like i'll just stop talking shut myself down and i'll just yep. kind of be like <laughs> yeah i'll just feel like <laughs> i'll just you know i'll just kind of i'll be like i want my space like leave me alone let me go do my own thing and when i'm ready to talk to you i'm ready to talk to you and she's the she's gotten me I, to be less like that like i handle arguments it depends who i'm arguing with if, yeah, if for whatever reason, me and Aiden literally, like, we don't, first off, I don't think yeah, I've I don't ever think, gotten into yeah, it with Yeah, yeah you and I have, I've like, never gotten, gotten like, in intense We've gotten over with the one another. dumbest shit ever, like, high pixel UAC, like, moments, high heat of the moment, we're kind of, like, quote unquote, pissed at each other for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's not the even. that's ever happened. Like, I don't even think that we don't, we, it's because we don't argue, we just have nothing to argue over. Cause yeah, I mean, like, we're just extremely it's casual. Like that, I still haven't met him. Like I haven't done anything. Yeah, I don't. Him yet. I don't even. I for all I know, you're still a forty year old man with a voice. Changer. Exactly. Like I, I, who knows? Nobody knows. But yeah, like, exactly. I, when I argue with people, I don't. Like it's that simple. Unless it's something I feel like I need to defend myself on. Yeah, facts. I'm not. Yeah. I'm typically not a very argumentative person. Because unless, like it's an it, issue that like I think needs to be talked about, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. disagree like blatantly with somebody's but i'm usually on very it. passive about it like i'll be like all right yep. fair enough. unless like if it's something i understand is not a big deal like if if i'm really pissed that brian's beating my ass in uac um i'm not gonna start getting in uh, getting into it and with him about it because i i know it doesn't fucking matter like i, I might could be like, brian fuck you. i could give but you like, the rundown on how brian reacts to an argument you want you want to you want to you want to you want to have I'm a going to sleep. you want to have a short summed up version? It usually goes something like this: Ha ha ha! You're so triggered. I'm going to bed now. That's typically how that goes. <laughs> that's what that's like Brian one of the best the, things. That was literally just for that night. That was that, night. That, was that, that, that was a one time thing. That's one of the best things about Brian though is that he doesn't get mad. He just laughs because like he's he, the king he, of taking absolutely nothing personally. Yeah, because he realizes how dumb it is to get mad over a video game, and then he laughs right. in my face when I so, get mad at him for beating me in Black Ops Four. <laughs> so, like, what, uh, Christian, what? Uh, I don't, I don't know. If this is I don't, the slap shot incident is in person. Well, <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> uh, right. Well, you're 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 trying to light a new fuse, aren't we? No, 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 no. I, like, Jamie, as, like, I'm trying to kind of. Like, all right, Real fast. As as soon as you said Christian Allen, I was like, he's gonna talk about slap shot. I yeah. know for a fact. <laughs> it's inevitable. Know, it was to gonna come up. It was, it was gonna know, come up. Set a, some, set something off here, but like like what goes through your head when shit like that happens? Like what are you thinking? Okay, well, so from first my of all, okay, okay, go. Okay, so I just yeah. want to say like from <laughs> from the start of that, the whole situation was stupid. Me and Aiden agree on that, but. Oh, yeah. I was in the wrong mindset from the beginning of that stream. Like from the beginning of that stream, I was already in a bad mood. I don't yeah, remember was why. I, I, I was no, I don't even think it's just <laughs> that. I think like I went into streaming. I think something happened that day that I was just not in a good mood, and I thought streaming would make me feel better, as, as most of the time it does. And you know, and I think I was playing Modern Warfare, and that game just makes everybody salty because it's you know oh, yeah. it's Modern Warfare. Fuck and then after it's going Modern into Warfare. that, I think you know I started playing with Aiden, and then. You know when Aiden started to beat me, <laughs> when Aiden started to beat me, I just I, did, I, I did wasn't. My whole I did yeah. my whole shebang. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Before. I was already in a bad mood, and so on top of being in a bad mood, then now being having an L handed to me in a slap shot game was like <laughs> I'm talking. that was pouring salt that. in the wound. Yeah. So like, of course, me being triggered. This this takes this goes all the way back to when I would play WWE as a kid on Xbox and I couldn't beat Jack Swagger, so I just like threw my controller. Oh. <laughs> but uh like I just I was triggered and so he started beating me and then he started trash talking, which obviously is part of the game. It was funny, he was just joking around. But I didn't see it as a joke because I was already in a bad mood. And then I took it way game. too serious and he I just started like, talking mad trash. Talk to you. Yeah, I just started talking <laughs> trash and then I ended up getting off and I you know the whole situation was just so dumb. I was and I, so like, I was just so like, whenever I, 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 I so from my perspective, it was like I could tell you were getting like angry. Yeah, and I was I was still like going with it because it was funny as hell. Because we anyone who knows me knows when I'm mad. Like exactly. I think it's safe to say that you and Brian, probably not Brady yet, but Brian and Aiden oh, know Brady, when I'm getting Brady salty. Knows. Brady knows. He catches on. Well, yeah. when I get mad, I just get super quiet. That's just how it yep, goes. Yep. I oh yeah. That. We were playing Black Ops, uh, <laughs> yep. Michael Myers, 
and then we started we switched to gun game I think and um <laughs> Aiden had killed you twice and wait I when was this I don't remember uh, playing Black Ops with you this, no, no, I do. I it was do. a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah, it was a it long was before time ago. I dis, like. I remember it, but it was. Like, I, um, you have Black Ops. Distant. Yeah, yeah I have Black Ops too. Yeah, yeah, right. oh, yeah, it was, it was around the Unog days. It was around the Unog okay, days. Okay, 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 okay. Anyways, you had died twice, and you had gone silent. And I think Brian <laughs> has said, "Hey, Christian," and then you were like, "What?" <laughs> and he was like, oh shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's typically how it goes. I just get super quiet, and then I try hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were tr you started tryharding, and then you died again when even after you switched to some absurd gun, and it's it like, lie, you couldn't even kill me with that gun. You were like, oh my god, dude, look at you, you're trying so hard in a black ops match, you're trying to it in my face. It's Why true, it's me? true, so it's so whenever true. Whenever you're angry, is it literally just a entirely like it's a different man? Like you don't think? Yeah. Was, like, yes, I that's that's the scary part because with me, I'm super competitive. And like, oh, yeah. I don't like losing. I hate it. If I'm not good at something, I'll either stop doing it or keep going until I'm better. And I just, yeah. I hate losing. Like, I don't like it. And it's like, you know, if I find someone that's equivalent to the skill of me or better than me, then I, I get really defensive because I don't like being the person that loses. Like, you know, when I, whenever I play Nobody Black does. Ops 4 Nobody against does. Brian, Brian wipes the floor with me. Like, he just knows the game better than I do, and he kicks my yeah. butt every single time. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. And then I'll be like, you know, this this is how I get my this is how I get my payback. I'll be like, all right, let's go. Let's go jump on MW2. This man can't <laughs> touch me when we're on Rust with interventions <laughs> at all. <laughs> no. The, the, thing, but, the thing is, but, whenever – and with, with me, whenever, like, I get on a game, like, if I get on, like, an FPS with you guys and you all are trash me, I'm like, all right. Let's get on. Let's get on high pixel. Let's run some duels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that's that's your set. That's that's our satisfaction. Like we go to our comfort spot where we know oh, we're gonna yeah. dominate whoever comes at us, and and we you know that's just how it rolls. You know, but to answer your question, Brady, like yeah, like when I get angry, I do I do just become different because yeah. I'm so caught up in my own head. He becomes an asshole if that's what you want to know. I do. No, he's not wrong. I do. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's true. But. Yeah. Recently, I honestly though, <laughs> be honest though, be honest with me though. I feel like recently I've been getting better with that. Like you know, I playing know with Brian a little bit, a little I don't bit. Pay much attention. The I mean, the only thing I've known is UAC with you recently. We haven't played a real like game. I don't know how seriously you take UAC. Like I, not, I don't know. Not how... very seriously. Yeah, because when you died, <laughs> you were. I mad take Hunger Games seriously, bro. I take Hunger Games seriously. Like if I'm on, if I'm playing Hunger Games and I just can't win a game that day, I'll just be like, I'm done. I'm done with this game, bro. This game takes yeah. me off, bro. I hate Minecraft. Uninstall. No, but like, I don't, I don't uninstall it, but like I, you know, I think everybody has get, days where they're just so mad at something that they just can't yeah. even see straight. You know, it's I just usually, natural. When I get mad at games, it's very rare I get mad at my teammates. I, or like my friend if it's my friends i like i usually can't bring myself to get actually mad at them but i'm if i play a game like apex or something i'm constantly fucking bitching about what's going on that's the thing yeah. is when i get mad i become a bitch i'm like are you fucking kidding me of course he's using that gun or some yeah. shit like that yep. like yeah I, mm -hmm. that, but i never yell at my friends i'm like fuck you fuck you yeah. like unless I'm like i'm just trying to be funny or whatever i usually that's so funny you say that because i i essentially do the same thing like i will i will get mad and i'll go quiet but if I start speaking, it's either trash talking or it's it's blaming the game. Like you can ask yeah, Brian, yeah. you can ask Aiden. It's I think the most yeah. obvious example is when I whenever I'm playing a game with Brian, if I'm one v oneing him in a COD game, it's just like, oh my god, he's lagging. Oh my god, of course you're using that gun. Oh my god, these bullets are going straight through you. Like it's in every video game that if, if 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 I'm getting beat, I just start blaming the video game and I'm like, this game's trash. <laughs> like that's just essentially how I am. But so for you is losing more of a motivator or demotivator? Demotivator. If I start losing, yeah. I just don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I used like, to, I I've been like that with like until I got into like for real competitive game. I used to be that way, and then I like kind of just started to want to get better instead of losing because I got tired of getting my ass beat. Yeah. Like but no, I I think I think it's for me it's like if I'm winning I'm like cool I'll keep going, and then the minute I start just going on a losing streak I just kind of stop and I'm like I don't want to play this game anymore or sometimes this is another downside to me playing games is like if i keep losing i'll continue to try until i get a win and that's when it gets worse because like if i'm sitting there trying to record a hunger games video and it's just one of those days where i can't win like there's hackers or i'm just pl flat out bad i'll continue yeah. to sit there and try and get a win no matter what and that's when it gets really bad because then i just start getting furious and like 
I, I remember one time I was playing in the uh, Bayesian Canadian Minecraft tournament and, you know, I got myself so hyped up. Like I was in my head for no reason. Like I was like, you know, I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna do so good. I couldn't get like any kills when I was playing in that tournament. I remember smashing my razor keyboard so hard that the yeah. foot, the foot, the elevated feet, that. the elevated feet, the back left one got jammed inside the, the, uh, the keyboard. And then like Holy all shit. of the keys like popped off of the top of the keyboard like i got that oh man i smashed my, my keyboard yeah and i like i just remember my dad like yelling from downstairs he's like you know you better you better calm down up there you better stop doing whatever that is and i was just like <laughs> you better you, know, you better and, you better and, stop yeah and i was just kind of <laughs> like you know stop. i was just kind of like yeah dad it's, it, it's fine nothing happened it, it's all good you know and, and he turns was just like, around three hundred right. dollar keyboard is just in pieces yeah right. <laughs> hey hey first, first time i repaired a keyboard i had to take it apart and repair it so that was fun but yeah Literally, rage I, like, rage is a thing man it's crazy my keyboard on a uh, uh, so my keyboard has like an armrest right yeah uh one time after a uhc champions i punched my keyboard the armrest snapped in half <laughs> so now it's just chilling out in two pieces it's still attached to my keyboard but it's just like there's just a crack down the middle bro rage rage is my a mouse thing pad, man my mouse pad is covered in like scuffs aiden um, has a history of the obligatory salt period where yeah, he doesn't where, like, get 15 ink. minutes yes i just get it's like for it's like a power up for like 15 minutes i just get obnoxiously bothered at the mildest everything ever it's, it's, will it's, bother it's, him it's like i get to like a 99 percent of i'm about to just fucking snap and like literally I can like stub my toe on something and I'm like I'm breaking a keyboard. Yep. Yeah. Like it could have happened like I could have died in the game like ten minutes. Makes sense. I everybody goes through that. I mean, there's just days in general. It doesn't it doesn't even have to be with video games. There's just days in general where that one thing can be that one thing that just sets you over the edge, man. Completely set you off. I get yeah. what you mean, dude. Yeah, I agree. I there's been days where people are like that, especially in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I remember there's days where I had like five tests on one day like i swear i would i would like go to my teacher like one of my favorite teachers and i would just be like do teachers coordinate when to have tests because every friday i have a test in every single block and it's the like the most ridiculous thing ever and like i used to get stressed out man but i'm out of high school now so i'm not complaining you know but facts what Fair. games have you guys been playing like recently uh Minecraft. i've been loving i fucking love it i know i, I have so much fun Oh, oh, okay, I guess you guys. I mean, uh, Christian and Brian, because I'm more yeah. in touch with a. Uh, pretty much just Minecraft. Just I Minecraft. I just don't really play anything else. I Minecraft is just my game. You know, I just never get yeah, bored of it. Fair. Whenever I'm bored, I just go play Hunger Games. It's the one game I can always jump to and never have a boring time with. You That's know, fair. I don't. I, what about you, Brian? What What have you been playing a lot of recently? I was playing a lot of Halo actually. You know, replaying the campaign yeah. and doing some multiplayer. That's yeah, good. I mean, That's it good. Honestly, if Brady gets Halo Reach working, we all need to run it through and do a legendary campaign. Honestly, yeah, we Thanks. could. I also wanted to do Forge, but I guess it's not on PC for some reason. Oh yeah, I've got a mod for Forge, but uh, yeah, yeah. I don't understand why it was like that. It, I was really looking forward to Forge with the guys, and then it just yeah, kind of didn't happen. And I was just Forge kinda, wow. is fun as hell. It is. I'm sure they'll add it in the next couple of updates. Ooh, I have a good question for you guys. So, uh, what was the first? Like, what was the first thing that you basically got into gaming with? What was the first console, the first piece of oh, equipment that started guess. your gaming passion? So when I was like two, uh, I've been I've been an oh Xbox my family my entire life. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Is it the skating game? Hell yeah! He Skate already three? <laughs> Freddie already knows. No, Jet Set Radio Future. Oh my oh. god! Never Brian, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Hell yeah, brother! First video oh, game I ever played. It was on a bundle disc with Sega GT 2002. <laughs> so you serious? started. Yes. So you started on I Xbox. Think I still have it. I'm Are you actually serious? Yeah, I'm dead ass. I think I still have it. What so you, look. Yeah, so I started you, on the OG Xbox. Okay, so the Xbox. Yeah, okay, so the black one with like the really neon green. Yeah, yes, yes. Yep. Dude, okay. I think I have Sonic 2006. I've got. Oh, Sonic was a shit on that. I've got thing. Project Gotham Racing. So, so Brian, I is that OG Halo? Is that where you OG. started, Brian? No, I just started on the PlayStation. Okay, so what did you? What I, was the first game you played? I don't even fucking remember what game I played. I remember it was just some like racing game. It was pretty huh. fun. I think it was like Need for Speed. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Brady, what long. about you? I think my first game ever was Ben 10: Protector of Earth on PS2. 
Wow, you I had a poor experience. Love that game. Hell no, that game was fire. <laughs> yeah, dude, I still have it. <laughs> it was pretty fucking. Oh my good. god, I still have the disc. You know, this is gonna be. I still have the Jet Set Radio Future disc, Brian. Huh? This is this is gonna I still be the Jet Set Radio Future. Hold up, let me send you a photo. This is oh, this god. is gonna be pretty my old book. pretty cliche, but the first game that I ever played, like that got me into gaming, was Wii Sports. Oh, the one. Wait, the one that got you into Wii gaming Sports. or the first it game? It took you, you that played? long. <laughs> well, like, okay, so I, I, my memory's really foggy. Like, I remember I used to play on the first original Xbox, like you said, Aiden, and I used to play Mortal yeah. Kombat because my brother, who was uh, older than me, played it, and he got me into Mortal Kombat, and I was super obsessed with that. Like, Mortal Kombat was my game. I enjoyed that a lot. And then, yeah, I think actually that's where I started was Mortal Kombat, and then I got into the Wii because my mom had gotten it for Christmas. And then we started playing Wii Sports, and then I went to the Xbox 360, and then from Xbox to Xbox One, and then from Xbox One to PC. And I have I the. PC. Yeah, when did you guys all? I have the OG Halo Combat Evolved, like Xbox. Like, I have oh. the original, oh, the original, original Halo. I got Brady, a chip what, were you, what were you saying, Brady? Uh, when did you guys originally switch to PC? Like, when did you make the jump from. Within Rock? the past, like, couple. Around the time that we started talking. Right, like really? around then oh, was okay, like okay. when I started like I started maining PC. I was yeah. still better at like FPS games on console. I think I I'm still but like if I got back up to my in my prime, if you compared my skill in the FPS game that I'm best at now, I'm not gonna count Minecraft because it's a whole different level. Yeah. But if you compare my skill in Black Ops 2 PC to my skill at my peak in Black Ops 2 Xbox, I would drop a penis on myself and and on on xbox like xbox yeah. me would completely dick pc me ryan like, uh, i had like I, I had like a 2.8 kd like, ryan, i was what about you icky with it mm -hmm. brian, eh? when did oh, when did you here? did you so i guess brian when did you start i know oh, you built God, your computer dude. recently like you had built last it year. like yeah last year but were you into pcs before that or did you just just now get fully into pc when you had built it oh uh, um fully Got into PC when I built it. I was like, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Brady, what about I'm you? I'm Call of Duty too. Cause, I, cause I still had my PS4 at the time, but then I got bored to PC. Yeah. And I, and I was getting frustrated with the PS4, and I sold that shit so yeah. fucking quick. Oh Brady, what about God. you? I think it was around like, shit. Late Brady's 2014. A, Brady's uh, two years younger than Christian and Brian, and I'm a year older than Christian and Brian. Yeah. Jesus. I think for me, like, when I, I started on Xbox 360, or sorry, that's that was like the last console I played on, or Xbox One. And while or while I was on Xbox 360, I discovered Minecraft because one of my friends, Tony, yeah. he, he ended up showing me Minecraft on PC because I went to his house one day and he was playing it on his little HP laptop. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, what are you playing? And he was like, dude, this is, this is Minecraft. It's pretty epic. And then I found out it was coming out on Xbox. So I had gotten it for Xbox because that's what I played yep. primarily. I got it day one. I got it day yeah. one. Yep, exactly. Like, I remember playing that. And then I had found out about PCs because then I started seeing stuff about shaders and mod packs. And I'm like, you know, why can't I do this on Xbox? And then I had, like, this really old computer, like this Toshiba laptop that my dog pissed on and ruined. And then after that, you know, my dad was like, <laughs> yeah, chance. I'm not buying it. No, it wasn't Chance. It was my other dog, Zeke, that I still actually have today. But um, it, he was like... My dad, this is funny because my dad was like, yeah, well, since you let your first laptop get ruined, now you have to pay for your second one. So he actually made me save the money and I ended up getting this HP. And I remember asking the sales associate at Best Buy, I'm like, yeah, you know, I really want to play some Gmod. I really want to play some Minecraft, you know, run some shaders. We'll just handle it. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. This will be fun. I get home. I load shaders. It sucked ass. Didn't even handle shaders. Barely could play yeah, Gmod. Yeah, people at Best Buy like, like, barely know what they're talking about. Okay. Well, when I worked there, I knew what I was talking about. No. Yeah. <laughs> but You were the exception. <laughs> I remember, yeah, yeah like, I, and then from there, that's when I started finding out about GPUs and CPUs and how to make a computer faster, stronger, better, etc. And that's when I got an Alienware laptop because my parents are divorced. So I was like, yeah, I used to go back and forth. I don't anymore. But when I did, nice. I saw it as the right idea to get a laptop because I could take it back and forth. And then after having that for a long time, I realized that wasn't a good idea because you can't upgrade a laptop i mean maybe ram and storage but you can't update the cpu the cpu or gpu so i was like okay um this kind of sucks and then that's when i found yeah. out about desktops and then i just recently okay, i have recently, never seen like, a desktop pc before this but like three <laughs> three or i think it's like three or four years ago is when i got 
Nightmare, which is the desktop I currently have, and that's where I've been since. So that's how it started for me. And I, I love PCs. PCs are great. PC Master Race, boys. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I think it's great. I love PCs. Like, you can't, you know, 144 hertz, you know, literally can customize whatever you want. Keyboard, mouse, monitor, computer, you know, literally. It's just the possibilities are endless. It's great. It's phenomenal. So, yeah. So Speaking of me, which. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I said for me with PC gaming, my audience knows the story, but I don't know how much my audience is going to watch this. Yeah. Uh, pretty much uh, when I was Christmas of 2013. Uh, I got my old computer. Uh, it had a 650 Ti in it. It had an i5, 8 gigs of RAM, terabyte of storage. Uh, it's it pretty pretty okay. It's a pretty okay computer. It still runs some shit today, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, had that until spring of 2017. It was on its. It was practically on its last legs by then. Uh, I get. I win a computer in a raffle. It has that's right. That's right. Yeah, as a 1070 uh, i9 five five nine seventy k's. No, i7 five nine seventy k. Sorry, uh, sixteen gigs of RAM, five hundred twelve gigabyte SSD. It's nice as hell. Uh, I had that for like a year, and the liquid cooling shit the bed like about April of twenty eighteen. Like, we cooling just completely shit the bed. Yeah. So, me being the lazy son of a bitch that I am, uh, I didn't buy the new parts for it until about, like, April. No, sorry, until uh, November of last year. Yeah, like a new case and everything. Yeah, I bought, I had to, okay, yeah, so I had to buy a new case. Because the fucking dumbasses who decided they were going to design the computer had the liquid cooling integrated. So, yeah. if something went wrong with Why? the Why? Exactly. It Brian, you exactly. saw it. Didn't you see it? It was that tower that had, like, the spiral in the front of it, and that's where all the water was going through. Or not the water, but the, the cooling. Motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It, it was, was a nice build, though. Like, it don't, was, you know, but it, it, well, it's just it was well put together. Integrated, though? But there were some yeah. poor decisions made. There was the some case, poor The case was a poor... Yeah, the that case was, was a poor decision. terrible. So, I start porting it all to this case. Right. The case that I'm in currently. Yeah. Uh, I get it all done. It boots, it's on for like 10 seconds, and then it turns off. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I troubleshooted it for like an hour more after that, and I was like, all right, whatever. I'm going to give up. Flash, I'm using this computer. The, I'm using the 650 Ti computer for three months. Uh, go to about March of this year. I've got my tax return. I've got my – I've been getting pretty fat paychecks because I've been working a lot. I've got about $1,000 saved up. I'm like, all right, I'm buying a computer. I go into Craigslist, third option, uh, computer. It's got an i7. It's got a 1080 in it. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, DDR3, but we don't talk about that. It's got uh, two terabytes and an HDD and 256 on an SSD. And I'm like, for $650. So I'm thinking, I right, let me cop. Well, I acquired this computer. <laughs> and uh from this that I, I was talking to you guys all at this point like i was talking to you guys through yeah. this whole entire instance mm -hmm. you, like you guys all know what's happening at this point my computer before my 650 ti i'd been running the 650 ti computer for like a year at that point since the 1071 broke right so i had been running that forever and it was it, it was on its last legs, realistically. Whenever I ran GTA, it sounded like a school bus. <laughs> Not even kidding. Like I came upstairs one day, it was like, <laughs> like it was. <laughs> I had to turn it off and like let it just chill out for the night. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get this thing runs everything perfectly, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Then, about uh August of this year, uh, around that time, I get a new desk. I mm -hmm. invite the mm -hmm. one, the only, Faze Kish mm -hmm. over to my house. I had to tidy up for you. It still looked like absolute dog shit, but I I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you realize how dirty my room used to be. It's kind of slumping back to what it used to be. I got to clean it again. That's, that, that brings up a topic that I was going to bring up before you uh, had started speaking about your computers. Uh, I was going to ask, like, when we move into our place, like, are 
Are y'all's rooms gonna be clean? Oh, are you guys? Like, so yes. my, th my yes. thing is, my thing yes. is, if it if it starts clean, it stays clean. That's okay. like this. When I decided I was going to like start being a bit more like clean with myself, mm -hmm. it was already like in the shit. It was already in the shit. All right. Well, we can we and can get more. Mountain. We can get more into this topic in the next podcast. Uh, we're coming up on an hour here. Um, so we're probably. Wait, should, can, I mean, can, and what? Can I finish talking? I'm almost done. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. If you want to just. Do you guys want to just let this finish and then we can just wrap it up after your store? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, go ahead actually, and continue. Finish can, it off. Continue. So, continue. So, wouldn't it just be so funny if I just shouted the n-word? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, Phase Kish comes over, and uh, oh we build God. a desk. We build a desk. It was it was a good time. We had a good time. Uh, I said be over at like eleven thirty. You didn't get there till about two thirty. Yeah. Can we just establish real quick that there's a thing called <laughs> Kisher time, and it's just. Kiss your time is yeah. You gotta you gotta you gotta ask him to be over four hours before you want him to be over. <laughs> Let's just say somebody says to be there at eleven. I'll probably be there around three thirty, four o'clock. Yeah, you know, about. Just, pretty much. All right, sorry. He go ahead, said go ahead. he'll say he's leaving at like one. He still is. He hasn't even woken up yet. It's an automated <laughs> message. Yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah, hey, it happens. So it happens. He, I had had this idea before, but I didn't really have the means to do it. This guy had the means to do it. He was like. Why don't we just combine the two computers? So we combined the God computer with the Craigslist God computer. Well, not necessarily combine. I just said, why don't we take the good components out of the God build and put them with the components of the build that you bought? Because you had better RAM. Uh, yeah, you had better RAM and, and, you had processor. More, and more storage. And you had more storage. Uh, no, 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 I'd way, I'd way more storage in the Craigslist. Rig. Well, I mean like SSD wise, you had more SSD well, yeah, storage. I still, I still haven't moved the SSD over. I'm not even, no cap. Yeah, I mean, low key though, who cares? Like you, your yeah, build right now matter. is fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway, continue, continue. <laughs> yeah. So we do that. And now I'm on a computer that I am today. Oh, and it you know runs just about everything pretty well. It can run, you know, without it. dropping frames. I can run, you know, without dropping frames. Except for more work. I can't run Modern Warfare and that's an <laughs> anomaly. <laughs> but I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, I mean, we got a few. I think we started a little late, so I mean, we can keep on going. It doesn't. Have wanna, to be we can time. we can go for like another ten minutes. We're at one oh one right now. You want to talk about how uh you tried making EDM music, Christian? Oh yeah, we can talk about or that. What? Okay, yeah. So this happened today. Uh, <laughs> what I, is this? I this really, happened today over the span of two hours. I really want to make music. Like, I genuinely, I like EDM, I like techno music and stuff like that, and I've always wanted to try and make it, and today I was just kind of like, finally, like, throwing the towel, I'm like, alright, I'll give it a shot. So I go and I download FL Studio, and I start watching some videos, and, uh, started playing around with the piano, with the synth, and the bass, and the drums, and everything, and, uh, about after two hours I uninstalled FL Studio, and I never want to see it again. That's a mood. Making music uh, is hard, in conclusion. It's really fucking hard. <laughs> Writing music, on the other hand, that's a different story. It comes naturally to Coos. Yeah, Quirk's song coming soon. No. I, no, I've literally written, like, hella music. Yeah, like the I'm one that we made in the, on the way start, to the beach. Like, putting it out there. I've, no, I've got to make the music for it. I've got to, like, make the instrumentals for it. Hmm. That's the only problem. I, Lyrics-wise, I'm fine. I can write music on music on music, but I'm so instrumentally lackluster in talent, it's just questionable Hold i mean on, it which takes channel is um the album up on which, which one the the rap album that i put up yeah as a yeah uh that's not that's on ada on official music hmm. link in the description Aiden oh i found it losing interest shark week penis shark shark week penis is a pop all right <laughs> anybody else have any uh closing thoughts you want to talk about brian anything you want to talk about no, not really. Yeah, that's the voice of, I'm ready to go to bed. Brady, what about you? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> no, no, I Just think like... we covered everything. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, are I we think gonna, are we gonna, Are we going to so, make another one between now and uh, Christmas? Um, I, I don't know. I'm I mean, we, I, yeah, I think so, we could, right, I think we so, could squeeze uh, one in. I think we could squeeze one in. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, all, right, so all right, so what have we covered today? We've covered impeachment. Yeah. Uh, we covered the cloud house. Yeah. Uh, we've covered masturbation. Yeah, covered uh, our journeys through gaming. Uh, covered, breakups. 
music breakups we've got in touch with our emotional sides yeah. mm-hmm. uh getting angry at each other over video mm-hmm. games mm-hmm. wow yeah. we've made a lot of ground i think as friends yeah i think this Good was a pretty shit. pretty well made first podcast i'm not gonna have to do too I much editing first, either this wasn't too much of a train wreck i don't think this is gonna be on the news tomorrow for better or worse no, i think it went really well but uh you guys want to go and wrap it up here then should we call it yeah yeah, yeah. bye all right well, uh, yeah, th- this has been the the Quirks Cast. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smack that subscribe button. Make sure to drop a like on this as well. Share it around. Send it to your friends. Let them come through and listen to it. Uh, we will have more coming in the future as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's been the Quirks Cast, and uh, I'll see you all later. Peace out. Are y'all not gonna say bye? Oh, I you already did. Bye, I guess. <laughs> I was like the only one to say bye. I'm just, I'm waiting for everyone else to be like, bye, 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 and it's just me, and then silence. Uh, all right, well, uh-huh. see y'all later. Uh-huh. Oh my, what the heck, yo? <laughs> <laughs> We've done the outro like four times, so I don't know really what the it's fuck you're on It's just silence. About. All right, I'll see. <laughs> all right. Yep. If you want to stop being a little bitch, then I mean, damn. Right. Okay.